The farmer's family watched unbelievingly, and their look said at least a million to one. There didn't at first seem to be any sign of Gwen's markings on the wet stone. We dried it and brushed it with talcum powder. Sounds like the top of Scotland coming out. Yes, it is. See? Yes. Yes, it's coming up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see all these little curves and midges. Do you recognise anything else there? Yeah. A spiral. Looks like a spiral. The original one was drawn in Sydney. Oh, right. Oh, close. right. It is close. Huh. You've got your thing, your ass there. You've got a little squiggle there. You've got a little squiggle there. You've got that curving around there. You have that curving around there. That's quite right, you do. It comes up and down, round. Up, up, comes down, around, and up, and comes down, around again. Yeah. And you've got that again, you've got that quite clear, that round ring there, and you've got a little squiggle like the start of a two there, so that's very, very close to what you draw. This is the way the stone looked to us and our camera. Let's make the markings as clear to you now as they seemed to us then on that day in that dark old shed. The stone and the drawing done in Sydney. However long those million to one odds seemed, the effect on farmer Dennis Simmons and his family was unmistakable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. Did you mention that to anybody No, else? we didn't say anything because we all thought you were mad. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still mad? No, no, no. Are you sure? <laughs> Explain reincarnation by saying that it is fantasy or genetic memory or something that they've read in a book. I don't believe it's fantasy because, for a start, the film deals in fact, not fantasy. Uh, it can't be genetic memory because people don't go down the same genetic line as their own ancestry. And as far as books are concerned, well, people could have read some of it in books, but I don't believe they could have read all the information that this film has brought out. Well, where does the truth lie? Religions of all kinds teach us about an afterlife. Some of them speak of a limbo, a timeless place of waiting to achieve something higher. And some speak of reincarnation itself, of a rebirth on the human plane after physical death. These are ancient and deep-rooted beliefs in all mankind. And science is now acknowledging how little we know of life beyond the body, the life of the mind. About its ability to recall, to project, to contact other minds about its ability to survive. Is that what it is then? If reincarnation exists, is it the survival of the human mind, a power source unwilling to be switched off when the body dies and looking for another outlet? And if not, then what? What makes ordinary people make the extraordinary claim that they've lived before? Perhaps it's the universal desire not just to finish not simply to accept that it's all over. The universal hope that there's more to come and something better at that. And the human craving to know. To know whether there's anything after death. And if there is, what is it and where is it? You begin to relive now, the point just after you died. You feel yourself going to wherever it was that the man took you after you talked to him. For Dorothy Hellman, it was heaven and a loving reunion. And walking along, just walking along the road, I can see a snicker. His papa. His papa. Papa! 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 One final question, who were you before?